Yeah. All right, welcome to the Liverpool Connection podcast, Pub Chat. We are talking about January signings. It is January the 25th. We haven't signed a midfielder, which is not a surprise. We, we signed um, Gakpo. Um, how do you think? Okay, so we signed one player. How has our business been so far? Glenn, I, I, I mean, I don't know really. I mean, it's more of a question of will we sign a midfielder? Um, and I haven't a clue. I don't think we will. But Liverpool are so weird in their business, you just don't know whether they just pull something out of the bag. Um, but... I feel like it's a little bit similar to the centre back issue where they've got something planned in the summer. Well, I hope they have, and they've got one, possibly two belters ready for the for the summer, and they're just thinking, well, why are we not? Why why would we go and spend our transfer our, our kitty now? And if if they have, I'm alright with it to be honest with you. Um, what about yourself, Wilson? You know. Interesting because you know, we did sign Gakpo, and I, I think it was triggered because there was some interest in him, and I think that we were looking to actually get him during the summer, and so we kind of did the, like we did last season when we got Diaz in January, we accelerated our our plans to get him. Klopp wanted him, and so he said, "Hey, let's get him now," and I think the same thing happened with Gakpo. Even though I think we all can agree. The midfield was really the, the, the pressing area that we needed reinforcements. Plus, we had a big issue with that, didn't we? I mean, we yep. what we do with Jota, or Jota, however you want to pronounce it's his name. It's not fucking Jota, and anyway. Diaz. It depends where you are. Right. Uh, right some people say Jota, Jota, okay. however you want to call him. We know who we mean. Right. But him and Diaz Diogo. being out, we needed someone. And Carvalho right, right. started um, some games. He's obviously not ready, so Gakpo was... And Ox kind of start. Right, we, well, we did need that. You know, but... But I think are we going to sign one? the midfield fielder is what everybody wanted, and there's still a few days left in the transfer window. Will we sign one? Yes or no? I'm going to say that we will not sign anyone, but I think that we do have verbal agreements with Bellingham to sign. That's what that's what I'm going to say. That's a big shout. Verbal agreement. Verbal agreement. Uh, so I agree. I don't Joby think. Bellingham. I do not think that we are going to sign somebody in be, between now and next week. Uh, I think. I don't know. Just reading a little bit between the lines, listening to club and interviews and things that. I don't think it was from a lack of wanting and a lack of trying. I will say that. Um, so I, I guess that's a little bit frustrating that. <coughs> It seemed like he wanted somebody and they were trying and they couldn't quite get it over the line and get it done. So that's kind of frustrating that they couldn't find a way to find a way to do it. Gapo we needed we needed we needed somebody up there. I think yeah the the injuries are well highlighted. Um, time will tell, it's a real difficult situation he's come into a young fella from, from Holland coming into a team that's not firing on all cylinders, difficult. So time will tell with him, um, but yeah. I've uh, got one for you. Uh, can, can, let me just mention something. It's not you, a stat again, is it? No, it's no more stats. <laughs> <laughs> Next time I do a stat, I'm gonna actually have the stat in front of me so I don't yeah. get it wrong. Yeah, success rate. So Go ahead. Hey, so Go. fuck off, you guys. Anyway, so but you mentioned something that there that is very important that people don't really take into consideration. There's two teams have to negotiate these things. You know, you can't say, "Hey, here's thirty-five million dollars. Take it, take it." But you have there. It's a process, right? It's give and take. There's um, how much money is going to be involved, and for us out there on this side, I, I think you're being cynical, but it's not straightforward. It's not you know, straightforward. Yeah, know, but, it's, it's definitely they, not the other team has to want their but, player to leave. But and it so depends on where they for are. For the last hundred years, people have done transfers. It's no, not no, like we're, it's not, not we're not talking about fucking putting a man well, on the moon. Yeah, right, guys, I, I, people I, think it's <coughs> like here's a check and give me your players. I, I, I mean, I mean, be to be honest, people. hopefully it's in pounds in or euros as well. In a in a in a less like idiotic way, I would be one of those people. Like. I get that there needs to be two parties need to be in agreement for a deal to happen. 
Thanks but for I telling me what a like, Yeah, I feel like <laughs> that sometimes, like we are here, where we absolutely need, like there's no fucking question that we need a midfielder. There's no question that we're going to sign two, possibly three midfielders in the summer that we couldn't go above and beyond to get one of those three guys now when we need them. That's my only... <clears throat> That's my only kind of qualm this a little all, bit. This, this all leads to going backwards into our history of signings that we have done ever since Cop has been at the club, FSG, etc. Is that we have a list, we have our targets, and we stick to them targets. And we say, we're going to get these players. And if that player is not available now, well, we're going to hold that budget, we're going to wait, and we're going to get this player when it's available, which and it feels like to go back to the point of Bellingham because there is so much talk that if it does feel like there's something in it it does feel like the, the deal has been agreed it does feel like we tried to get him this month and it does feel like that's probably not going to happen it's going to happen in the summer because you just have to you, you just have to look at Naby Keita you desperately need a midfielder we waited for him uh, Canate we desperately needed a centre back that season <laughs> But if you remember with Canate, that season, we were, we were crying out that we needed a centre-back. Yeah. And we didn't sign one. We didn't replace Lovren, That's and I think went out. And we waited, we waited, but and it hurt the season. And then we signed well, we, 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 we signed Kabak like and that. Davies. I, yeah, well, yeah, 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 there you go. But it feels a little bit like that, that we do have a player, or maybe players that are coming in the summer, that we have been trying to get in January, which it looks like maybe is not going to happen. That's what it feels like to me. Uh, yeah, I mean, I mean, I get, I get the point about Kanate. He, he, he is a good example of us going, being desperate for a centre back that season and going, no, nope, we want this guy. We're going to hold out until summer. We, we couldn't get him. Well, we wanted the, up at Meccano first, didn't we? Um, yeah, I'm not. The, the, the thing here with the midfielders is, I think that with with Kanate was one guy, one position. Yep. Here. I don't think there's any question that come summertime we need two at least three at least two possibly three I find it extremely difficult to understand and accept that out of those three we couldn't find one fucker of those three that we went here we we absolutely want you now how much money do you want from you want this here go you're bent over a barrel it's not typically how we do business but we're bent over a bar, we're in need, economics 101, price elast elasticity, or however you say that word. That, that's just, yeah, that's just sometimes, that's the, sometimes in business you get fucking done. And to me, this January would have been one of those Januaries. It's just never where been you, our model, though, has it? Since no, and, and also I'd like to say that the way, we, when, the way that Liverpool have done transfers, which I know a lot of people seem to forget, sorry, transfer virgins, but, but realistically, well not realistically, in the last five years, all of our transfers, who we, every player that we brought in, there could be an argument for Kater, but I'd also say that, that's, that's more injuries, but every player that we brought in has been very, very good. Do you know what I mean? Every, every, every player that you've, you've got. So if somebody told me now, if someone told me now that we're going to limp over this line and we're going to get finished ninth, but next summer we're going to sign... Bellingham and Nunes, for example, who it seems that that there's a lot of interest. I mean, I know Paul Joyce put that out a few days ago that um, Nunes and, and uh, sorry Nunes and uh, Bellingham were the two that Liverpool were looking for. Someone told me we're going to sign them in the summer. I'd say I, I I would take that to be fair. Then like I always pick I always pick Tillmans as an example, and I've got nothing really against Tillmans, but we could go and sign someone for 25 million now and just design someone and people would be absolutely buzzing about that by the way because right you you sent me it Ben Davies when Ben Davies signed last summer right people had never seen a lad kick a ball and everyone was like sound we've signed the centre back <laughs> right signed someone never signed yes, yeah tell you know I me mean? just because the sub this one you know, I want Liverpool to sign better players I really do but I'm not interested in just signing someone it's yeah, interesting but do you not do you, do you not I, I, and I, ex I 100% agree with you but do you not think that I don't know. I just don't. I just can't see. I can't see us signing two, three players in the summer, and there couldn't have been one that we could have fucking went a little bit above, above and beyond uh, in in January to, to get them in a little bit, a little bit early. But if you if you if you think think of the players that Liverpool like, think of the. F I know I know Liverpool doesn't do business like this. They'll just pick some lad out of nowhere, and you're like, oh shit, who is he? 
But if you think of the players that have been linked, your McAllister, your Sacido, uh, Declan Rice, calm down. Um, <laughs> uh, Bellingham, obviously. Um, Mason Mount, I, I can't say anything on that. But these sort of players, who, uh, they're not selling them in January. None of them are going to leave in January. And if they do, I mean, what sort of wedge are you going to pay for them? Do but, you know what I mean? But I think, you know, you mentioned that if we finish ninth and we got those players in the summer, I think you're like a rainbow unicorn, man. You're a rarity that you're okay. I'm not, I'm not. I being that. like that. No, no. Because most, not. most people are not going to be okay. No, most struggling people, over the line and people, just waiting till the summer. Most people online aren't, but most rational, normal people, like my mates back home, no one's saying to me now they're gonna go and they're gonna go on a march because right. because you know, they've got they've got brains in their heads. And like we're saying now, like I don't know, that's what I'm asking you is if, if that is the case where we have to struggle for the for the rest of the season but you're gonna sign two apps oh, of belters. I mean, that's what's going to... I don't know about... Well, I don't know whether we're going to get two belters in the summer, but I can tell you that we're not going to sign anybody between now and the end of the Famous last words. <laughs> watch Bellingham no, watch, yeah. walk through the door January 31st. Yeah, it'll come out tomorrow morning when we've not got this out as well. There's no, there's, there's no doubt to a, to a certain extent that the transfer policy has, has worked, right? It, it, the signings, like to go to your point, if you look at the, the, the majority of the signings that we have made in the Klopp era, the majority of them have been a huge success. Even if you look at a player where we bring in that is a gamble signing, like someone like Dominic Solanke, right? Came in, didn't work out, but we sold him for a huge profit. Worked, and it worked, you know, it didn't work out for us, but we made money on him, and it was a player that wasn't a big risk as well. But there's no doubt that when we won the league, right, there's an opportunity that we were a side that won the Champions League, we have won the league, we need to take advantage from here, we need to take it to the next level because our teams are always looking to catch you up. And we haven't we haven't progressed, we have not advanced the squad. And which is why we why we were in this situation now. Liverpool. We haven't bought the hold on a second, we haven't bought the players to think about going towards the future. We look at our midfield and we look at the age of the midfield. This should have been this should have been progressed upon this should have been looked at two years ago we should have been adding to the squad because we, we, we added to the, the squad Premier but League, that wasn't the priority what happens towards in the Premier League is you get, you get caught up January you get transfers. caught up really quickly Liverpool and won the league and we signed Diogo Jota and, uh, and, and Thiago it's a, it's a Thiago is one midfielder and we're not going to count our tour no, right no, no, no. But he's one midfielder, four, one midfielder we've signed in four and a half seasons, right? That's, that's what? reeks of, and it's, it is obvious to me, and it should be blatantly obvious to every Liverpool fan that we haven't rebuilt, we haven't, we haven't added to the squad in the right way, that we need to look to the future, you need to look within the next five years, you need to add to that, you need to look at Henderson's age, Milner, well, I, Fabinho, I dis- etc. We went for the quad seven months ago, so... And we did, but that's and, not looking towards we, the future. That's looking to then. It was no, blatantly the, obvious that no, we, we needed we went players towards the for future. this squad. He, he's regenerated the back line and the front line. What what I think what's happened is that how's he regenerated the back line? Kanate and Simicas. Simicas. That's two players, and you only have four positions. You need top quality players for each well, two. And we two, went for the quad. Two top so what, quality what, players for each position on the pitch. No, we I don't have that. We've fallen behind. I, I understand what you're trying to say. What I'm trying to say is that I think what what happened is that Klopp got caught with thinking that his midfield can last another year. I disagree. I think Klopp, Klopp is not stupid. I think if Klopp was allowed the money to spare, he would have yeah, spent we it and he would have got the players. Many, right? right? And he would have got who he wanted. But right. the fact is, we have a strict budget. We know that we, we sell to buy. That's pretty much the model that has been in place, right? Which has worked to a certain extent. But if we but were going to buy too too many during the summer, you we weren't going to sell anybody. Hold on. We've, you become champions. It's notorious over time with the, with the league, right? You build upon that, right? You say, okay, we're the best no, team in the world. Let's philosophy. go out after these players and get the right players and do everything we can to get them. But we haven't done that. And that's why we're saying what? Well, I don't, I don't want to that's look at a league why. table. That is, of course, that's one that's of the reasons. Why. Yes, it is. That is a huge reason. The January huge signings. reason. <laughs> yeah, I know. 
Anyway, so um, that's not why. Can we just can we just have a pro like I'm gonna move away from Liverpool right now because Fuck knows these two fuck you know. No. Can we just have Back a January. can we just have a humongous okay. laugh over Everton? Because listen, you, a lot of people are gonna disagree here and you're gonna disagree as well. But if Liverpool finish fourteenth this year and they go down, no problem, I'll take it. I will take it. When they go down, I will la they are going down this year and I'm gonna laugh my bollocks off. I cannot wait for but, it. You know, Glenn, um, you're talking about a club that has been they're pretty dire straits financially, right? I mean the the numbers that came out this week, their their wages were ninety six percent of their revenue. Yeah. And where we're at maybe sixty five, sixty six, and people think we're high on that. And it's they're a mess, Chris. Yeah, we are. Yeah, they are. He, he, you didn't know about the fellow though the other day, did you? Huh? You didn't know about the the fellow that went to Spurs on the. He, oh, he, yeah, he chose yeah, the Spurs. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah. yeah. my yeah. god. Yeah, it's so funny. Yeah, they're a mess. They're a mess. I wouldn't like to see them go. I I, I I'm the opposite. I I I. I like them hovering around. No, like no, you will, you will. 16th, 15th, Honestly, when 17th. they're going to Gillingham away next year, it'll be well funny. Honestly, it's fantastic. It's keeping me going. It's keeping me going. To be honest, I'd love it. It is keeping me going. Yeah, it is. It is. So I got. The side, they're going down. They're going down. Yeah. Who, who's gonna be? Who's gonna be? Oh boy. Don't know. It won't be Deitch anyway. Why not Deitch? Fight. It just won't be. He won't touch them with a fucking. Seven foot pole. You don't think so? No chance. Absolute no chance. He's much. He he he's a smart guy. He will not go there. Oh, he, he's Sean Dyche is just between no. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's no way. He he he'll protect his stock. No way. He's not going there. No chance. I don't think anybody's going to take that job. Actually, if it's not, if it's if it's not Allardyce, seriously. If it's not Big Sam, no one's going to take that job. So no, pretty, no, Lane Baines is I, Lane Baines is the interim manager. Yeah, but that always happens when someone wants to get someone I, I, put No one wants that job, man. Someone's so going to get paid like they eight million pound job. a year. There's going to be some. Who's, who's your prediction? It might be Paul Sykes from who's, the club. Who's, who's, who's your prediction? Julian Lane, maybe. I don't give a shit. Fuck me. I mean, you you don't you don't no you don't want them to have a manager anyway. You want them to go. No, no, no. I want it to be Elsa. I want it to be Bielsa because I think it'll be so. Bielsa's not gonna take that. Listen, listen. Yerry Mina, Calvert Lewin, your man Seamus Coleman might have a heart attack playing under Bielsa. At this rate, Chelsea might sign Everton. How about Duncan Ferguson? Duncan Ferguson will take it. Yeah, I don't think he will. Yeah, I think he's been a bridesmaid too many times. I know, but he either way, he take the job. Either way, it's dead funny. Anyway, <laughs> let, let, let's go on to um, another set of pricks. Chelsea, the sun, and everyone in the transfer window. What's going on there? Well, they're making it up as they go along. It's like typical new owner comes in, wants to make a statement, wants to do things. Um, I would say differently from the Russian, but well, nah, it's, it's, it's the same. No, it's it is different because they're signing these. Uh, what I'm seeing is there's a Chelsea. Are having players sign these really long contracts, like seven years, it's a fair play, though, right? Which is yeah. happening, but um, that's for, that's for FFP, though. Is is a part of it, but yeah, Chelsea new <laughs> owner. Um, uh, I don't think Graham Potter is going to be there long, unfortunately. I mean, he looks like he's he's obviously a, a good young English manager, but it's not the right club for him. So I don't think he's going to be there. But yeah, who knows with Chelsea? I mean, they could sign every player. The I'm just going to say very quickly they're, they're really heavily linked to try and maybe sign this I see though this, they're going to sign what he, either him or that Enzo for like loads and loads and loads of money and then if they do they like because like for us like we've been linked with McAllister as well if they if they mm -hmm. do that it could be a bit of a problem for us couldn't it yep. yeah. what do you think I think it's, uh, you know, they're signing these, um, the Ukrainian for seven or eight year deal, right? So UEFA has to come out and change the, they're, they're changing it. So after the summer, you can't do anything over five years. So, but it's interesting to me how they want to put this rule into place to protect teams from really imploding, which Chelsea's, those contracts will, will hit the, you know, them in about five years. When they've allowed like Barcelona and Real Madrid and those teams to just and a Juventus just to, so it's so it's very interesting to me to that they're stepping in now to change those contract rules. 
yeah, look, talk about imploding, and we were talking about laughing at Everton earlier. I tell you one thing: if that club was to implode, what a, it couldn't happen a nicer crowd. <laughs> To be honest with you, for I Chelsea. Have, yeah, I have no time for Chelsea whatsoever. Potter is blessed that the Russian isn't still at the helm because he'd have been gone six oh, weeks ago. He wouldn't have got it though. He, he probably wouldn't have got the job in the first place. Uh, being honest with you, um, and yeah, look, it's they're just yeah, they're just fucking buying players and. Your man's playing FIFA manager, isn't he? Yeah, it is. And, uh, it is like he, that, isn't uh, he's just going, okay, I'll buy you, I'll buy you, I'll buy you. Fuck them on the field some, there and, and see what happens. Some of our fans are well jealous, though, aren't they? Some of, no, sorry, some of these virgins on, on Twitter, they are so jealous of that. Yeah. Man, they would love that, wouldn't they? Liverpool were just signing 100 players. But, um, yeah, and, and you're right, they it? would. They would love to have that. They want the transfer window trophy to win that every single window. With no rhyme or reason or a plan, well, just, and that's what Chelsea's just, just doing. Just to stick up for, just to stick up for those guys, then. But there's on the flip side of that, there's the guy, the, 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 trans- <laughs> the, 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 the transfer, the transfer window trophy. But there's also the fucking balance sheet fucking trophy that Liverpool like to bang on about as well. That's just as fucking head wrecking, mm-hmm. in my opinion. So anyway, just hey, before we wrap that's this a, up, just before we wrap this up, I know I've not said this to you before, thing, but at this point. <laughs> I'm not going to put this back to Everton. What three teams are going down? What three teams are going down from this point right now? I know we've got like a week to go in the transfer, so that, that could change things. But from now, who do you think will go down? S- Southampton. It's a big, there's a loss. Is there there one, is. One, just one. thinking about it. One. I really think Everton are going down. Right. And I really yeah, hope I, Le- I really hope Leeds go down as well. <laughs> you're, you're a massive fan. You're very, really, very, you're very popular, a, aren't you? Yeah, what a Wilson. brilliant, brilliant. Even if, so if we don't win the league, we're not going to win the league. If Leeds, Everton, Southampton go on, That's go a bit down. Arsenal, Arsenal, Southampton. Go on. Uh, you know, I'll be, I'll be Leeds, down. United States of America will not go down. Oh um, <laughs> Forest, <laughs> Everton, and Southampton. I mean... I had Wolves at the beginning, but like you mentioned earlier, they do have a, a lot of talent go that they yourself. should come out there, even though at the beginning of the season I predicted them to go down. So I, uh, I think they'll... Down. Absolutely not. Okay. No cross. I think... Uh, I think... Southampton will go down. Yeah. Um, I, I, I would like to see West Ham go. I hate those fuckers. And probably Everton, but I I really fear for Everton. Honestly, I I really do. I think if they go, they're gone for a long. Time. I, I, I'm I'm going Bournemouth, Southampton, and I, and I'm not a religious fella, but I will be praying every fucking week for those cunts to go down as well. Sorry for the language. Um, so hopefully those three. All right, let's wrap this up. We've had a good little... Hey, so, so last whoa, 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 so whoa, whoa, no more signings this January? No chance. No chance for signing. No chance for signing. No chance for signing. I don't think we'll sign anybody else. No, we just fucking no, beat through it. We want to reiterate it, man. <laughs> no more signings. No one here All right. is positive. Like, subscribe. Thank you very much for watching, for listening. Have a good one. It's goodbye from me. And it's a goodbye from him. <laughs> Aha. Take care. <laughs> Give a little helps a lot. <laughs> Cheers. Bye. Unsubscribe. <laughs> <laughs>